Well, protesters also marched through the streets outside Spencer's speech. Eagle 8 HD was over the scene all afternoon as the crowds gathered. And we want to get a live look right now from Eagle 8 HD. Paul Lamison is on board over the UF campus. Tell us what's going on, Paul. Good evening, Stacy. Hey, it's all getting cleared up now. There's still plenty of police presence. They're still wrapping up, but most of the protesters have gone home. They still have roads blocked off. But right now, everything is winding down. And again, there's still police presence. But again, they are starting to take down barricades. So it should be back to normal shortly. In Eagle 8 HD, Paul Amison, News Channel 8. All right, thank you very much, Paul. We don't want your Nazi hate! We don't want your Nazi hate! And large crowds made it clear that Richard Spencer and his supporters have zero place on that campus. Protesters demonstrating for hours, making their voices heard. Our team coverage continues now with Corey Davis. He's live in Gainesville. Corey. Keith and Stacy, good evening to you. We just got a report of some breaking news. A single gunshot fired in Gainesville here, about 10 minutes from where we are, the venue where Richard Spencer spoke. Right now, police are looking to see who fired that shot. They tell us no one was hurt, but they are also trying to figure out if it's connected to this. And before all of this happened, some cases of pushing and shoving, and we even saw someone get arrested, that involving a firearm. Polarizing views clashing at the University of Florida. We don't want your Nazi hate! We don't want your Nazi hate! Several hundred, possibly even thousands of protesters from all walks of life joining together for one unified message. Brown lives are under attack! What do we do? Stand up like that! They tell us it's a battle of words, not violence. Protesting in hopes of echoing their message into the Phillips Performing Arts Center. That's where white supremacist Richard Spencer took the stage to promote his views. I mean, it's disgusting. How can you look at a whole race of people of color, of people in general, and not be inclusive? How can you be that disgusting? UF student Kimberly Brown tells us the issue is too pressing not to act. What do you say to people who believe that protesting is bringing attention to his cause? I would say that if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. From students to an English professor on campus, there's a lesson to be learned. Why is it important to you to be here today? I want to show my support for um, people who are protesting racism. I'm not going to sit at home no matter what. And the sheriff's office here telling us that they arrested an Orlando man for carrying a firearm on campus. It turns out that he was hired security for a TV station out here. Firearms are not allowed. They're actually at the top of the list for prohibited items here on campus. Keith and Stacy. All right. Thank you, Corey.